In today's Gospel, we learn again of the mission that our Lord had received from his eternal Father, that is to come and touch humanity, most especially by the forgiveness of their sins. And in order to bring all to the understanding of who he was, the Lord works many miracles. And today in the Gospel, we see that two of those primary miracles of curing, of curing that, that he works, and yet, what is the crowd's response? The crowd is to rid the crowd's response is to ridicule him. And so we too learn and must always be on God that there are many about who will ridicule the Lord, and we must go forward with the complete confidence that what Scripture attests to and what the sacred tradition of the church tells us the Lord truly did, so that his image and that, so that his image may grow more and more in our hearts and our love for him may grow deeper and deeper every day. It is a distraction to even often consider the ridicule of the Lord, especially when tradition and scripture attest that all that is said of him is truly true. He was the son of God, he came, he worked miracles, and most especially, he, he forgave sins. And indeed, in today's gospel, we see what one of the saints referred to as the greater proof of his divinity than even the miracles he worked. That is, his patience and his meekness with those who doubted him, disbelieved him, and ridiculed him. He simply went about and worked the cure of the girl and let the work itself speak as to who he was. And so... <clears throat> the news of it would spread throughout the land. Some who ridiculed, no doubt, were converted, for the Lord always behaves towards us in a manner in which he wishes to elicit those sentiments of repentance from the soul so that we truly do not experience death. And indeed, often in today, the gospel is used as a, mo as a means by those who are opposed to Christ to ridicule him, for it accuses him of saying a lie because he said, the girl is not dead. And yet, there is no lie, <clears throat> for the Lord knew full well that the girl was gonna be, ro that he would raise this girl from the dead and work the miraculous, miraculous cure. And he knew full well also that true death is not death of the body, but death of the soul, and so, this girl was suspended neither in heaven nor in hell nor in purgatory, but awaited the merciful hand of the Lord, that merciful hand that would bring her back to life. And no doubt, this girl would spend the rest of her life giving thanks to the mercy of God and ultimately receive that reward which we are all called to receive, union with him for all eternity in heaven. And so, let us give no stock to those who ridicule, but let us strive to try to respond to the ridicule of the Lord in his teaching in the same manner of Christ, to go about and do his works. Not that we all, not that we all, or indeed, not that very few of us have the gift to heal. We all have the gift to go about and do the works of the Lord, that is, to speak of him and to show him by our, and strive to show him by our example. And when at the end of the day, we see how often we have failed to witness to the presence of Christ in our life, we have that opportunity, that final opportunity in the day to tell the Lord we're sorry and renew our commitment to serve him more and more each day so that we do not enter into the, into the crowd of those who would ridicule the Lord because we become frustrated with our faults and failings and our sins. Let us always remember that he came to forgive us our sins and he has done all things well and indeed has proven beyond any shadow of a doubt that he truly was who he said he is, that is, the Son of God, come in order to be sacrificed for our sins so that the gates of heaven may truly be opened for all mankind so that we and all may not experience that death, that final death by which we are separated from God for all eternity in hell, but rather 
we ex receive that life by which we are united with the angels and saints, praising this good God together for all eternity.